morning already. I guess I'll like get up and whoa, ow, that like totally hurt. Uh, I like totally don't want to get ready for school right now. But I like have to if I want to look better than Sarah today. Uh, oh, I guess I keep forgetting to unpack from a uh, summer camp. My bad. Um, well, good thing about waking up so hashtag early is that the my little sisters are still sleeping. That gives me free time, yes! Free time, me time. That's what I like to call it. Yep. Oh yeah, girl, looking good. Looking great. Looking fine, yes! Sarah does not stand a chance today. My beauty rest totally worked last night. Well, I better go get some hashtag food and then run a hot, warm bubble bath. <laughs> doing up you're supposed to be like sleeping by now you normally sleep till 801 and then you're up why what what's going on what am I missing what do you mean I'm supposed to be asleep for that long there's no set time to when I wake up plus I, I just I don't know I woke up and I was up that's that's my story that's how it happened I had the desire to play with mr. Teddy before school I should have known you're a early riser Man. Morning, Dad. What did you make for breakfast today? I am awake and I am hungry. Good morning, Courtney. Your breakfast is on the table. I know what time you wake up and I have to go to work really soon, so I just cooked real quick. Oh, yeah. There it is, right next to my cell phone. I better text Kim and see what she's eating for breakfast. Us BFFs always text each other everything. You should text her and um, tell her that I'm awake and that I'm playing with Mr. Teddy because you text her everything. Uh, I'm going to text her about you. Yeah, you're right. But I'm going to say that you like hashtag ruined my plans for today. So instead of taking a nice bubble bath, I'm just going to have to skip it. And my skin is going to be like messed up now. Which means that Sarah is going to have a chance. How does me being awake ruin you having a bubble bath? That makes no sense. Who's this Sarah you're talking about, Courtney? Oh, don't even get me started, Dad. Sarah is this girl at school who thinks she's like the coolest girl at school, but she's not, because it's like obviously me. And then she texted John, who texted Mary, who texted Tim, who texted Alfalfa, and texted Kim. And Kim told me that Sarah was telling everybody that... Whoa, 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 wait. Who did she text? And what did they say? I got so confused just now. I need to... You need to repeat that for me. Hush now, Lily. The adults are talking. You're only seven years old. You're not an adult. Anyways, she told everybody in my class that I had stubby toes. And if you know me, you know for a fact that my toes are not stubby, they're cute. Um, your toes kind of are a little stubby. <gasps> Lily, how could you? I better text that to Kim too. Court, I wouldn't let that get to you. It's just a silly little thing for someone to pass around. Besides, you're only in the fourth grade. I don't think you need to be waking up super early, being super tired, just to worry about your skin. I feel like that's more of like a high school worry thing than an elementary school girl should be worrying about who isn't even in the fifth grade. Dad, trust me, it has been a very, very long time since you have been in elementary school, so you have no, no idea what it's like. And I am a girl. A fourth grade girl. You were a fourth grade boy. So it, there's a big difference right there. Daddy, am I going to have to worry about girls in the fourth grade telling me that my toes are stubby? I hope not. If that's what fourth graders are doing these days, then we'll have to see what they're doing for your generation. What, what's a gender generator in? 
Yikes, you better stay in school, girl. You have a lot to learn. All right, BRB, I'm gonna go call Kim. Tell Kimmy that I said hi, okay? That's very, very important. She needs to know. Yeah, okay, uh, like whatever, anyways. Thank you for the breakfast, Father. It was divine. Um, what does divine mean, Dad? You're welcome, Courtney. And Lily, divine means good. It's another word for yummy or good or just really, really nice food. Oh, I'm learning so much and I haven't even gone to school yet. Crazy. Him? Hey, it's me, your bestie. What is up, girl? So let me tell you how everything's going to go at school today, all right? So I'm skipping my usual daily morning bath because of Lily. Oh, gross. And so we're going to have to go in on the south side of the building, not the west, the south. Oh, got it, girl. Totally. Yeah, we can do that. Good. And then when we get to class, we have to go right up to Tim and tell him that my toes are cute, okay? Tim is very important to me. You know it. He's my bae, and he has to know. Yeah, totally. Got it. Um, are we going to meet at the bus together or what? Yes, meet at the bus in countdown uh, six minutes, exactly. Oh no, 6.02, we have to be casually late. It's a plan, girl. See you then. Bye. Mwah. All right, good. That's done. Now I better go get my backpack, load it up. Um, what else do I need? Oh, hey, Courtney. Um, I know you don't like being bothered in the mornings, but... Why are you just standing there? That's just kind of creepy. Hush, I'm thinking. I have to plan everything out perfectly. Why? What's going on? Is there a boy you like at school? What's his name? Is he your boyfriend? Do you have any other friends like him? Does he have an older brother? Does his brother have a... Ugh, Samantha, stop it! You are interrupting my thoughts. My very important thoughts. Yikes, not bad. Okay, fine. If you're going to be like that, I won't tell you about the boy I like. Bye! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Wait, you like a boy at school? That is weird. Anyways, better go get my backpack. Five minutes later. Okay, I have to get to the bus, like, right now. I, Nova, what is going on? Why are you, like, on the floor? Oh, I don't feel too good. My tummy hurts. I think I'm sick. Okay, that's, like, totally not my problem. I should keep going. I'm on a schedule. Fun with being sick. <coughs> Oh, I don't feel good. Just ignore her, go to the elevator, and <gasps> can't leave her like this. <sighs> okay, listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. You should not go to school in this condition. Like, at all. You look terrible. Wow, thanks. Yeah, I, I feel great. So, um, why don't you just, like, stay right here, and I'm going to go get Mom, and she can take care of you. Okay? Okay. Now, don't move, because just don't. You're going to, like, faint or something. I'll be back. Wait, wait, no, I'm not going to be back. I have to go to school. Anyways, got that clarified. I'm out. Hey, Mom. I have to go, like, right now. But I uh, just thought that I'd let you know that Nova is really sick and she is not feeling good and she can't go to school. Okay, I'm out. Bye. Oh, dear. Poor Nova. Thank you so much for telling me, Courtney. That's a very big sister thing of you to do. All right, well, I won't let you be late. I'll let you get to your bus. But I just wanted to thank you for being very mature about this. Uh, yeah, I'm not like a child, Mom. I know how to take care of things. All right, well, see you weirdos later. I'm going to school. Cannot be late. I'm almost late. Bye, Courtney. We'll be there in a few minutes. Since we're younger, our class starts later. Dude, you don't gotta tell me. I like, no. Bye! Wow, she's kind of crazy when she doesn't have a bubble bath. I didn't know that she'd help Nova, and I didn't even know that Nova was sick. Honestly, Lily, I don't think Nova knew that Nova was sick. I can't believe how, how crazy Courtney can be sometimes. Like, who cares if someone thinks your toes are in a weird shape? They're your own toes. You gotta love them. What are you talking about? It's fourth grader stuff. Sammy, you wouldn't know. Fourth grader stuff, man.